friends are going to draw a groundhog. Yeah, good job. Yeah, today is Groundhog's Day, and so we're super excited to draw a groundhog, right? Yeah. Yes, we are. And you're how old? Four. Yes, you're four years old. So we're going to keep this activity nice and easy. What happens on Groundhog's Day? If they don't see their shadow, yeah. um, spring is going to come early. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, good job. If, sp if uh, the groundhog doesn't see his shadow, then spring's going to come early. If he sees his shadow, then it's going to be six more weeks of winter. Yeah. Yeah, we hope he doesn't see his shadow. You ready to draw him? Yeah. You got your marker? We hope you guys are going to follow along with us. <laughs> you have a, something to draw with and a piece of paper in front of you. All right, dude. Let's do this. <laughs> so the first thing that we're going to draw are our groundhog's eyes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to draw a, a little circle like this. And we're going to draw it kind of in the middle of the paper, but off to the left. So right about here. Good. And then we're going to draw another circle over here next to it. There's his two eyes. Then we're going to color in our eyes except for a little white spot for the light that's shining on his eyes. Good job. All right. Okay. Now we're going to draw his nose. So we're going to draw an upside down triangle. But let's draw a line, a short line in between his eyes. Good. And then we're going to draw a V to connect that short line. Good job. And then you can connect it. Good. Okay, now we're going to draw his mouth and it's going to be two J shapes, okay? Yeah. So here's one J like that. Good. And then we're going to draw another J, backwards J right next to it. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now uh, groundhogs have teeth that look a little bit like a beaver. And so we're going to draw a square U in between the J's. Good. Over and then back up. Good. And then we're going to draw a line right down the middle. It kind of looks like a house. <laughs> it does look like a house. <laughs> All right, Keen, now we're ready for his body. So we're going to draw a big upside down U. So watch this. So I'm going to start, we can even do dots for you if you want, but we're going to start down here. We're going to come up over his eyes and then back down to the same spot. So right here. here. Yeah, that's a good spot. We can start right here and then we're going to come back over to here. So we're going to go up, over and then down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the balloon. <laughs> he looks like a balloon. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he looks like he's going to pop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good job, though. Give me five. <laughs> All right, Kate. Now we're going to draw the hole that he's coming out of. And it's not going to look like your groundhog's going to probably fit in the hole, but that's okay. <laughs> so we're going to draw a curved line down here at the bottom that connects the two or the U. Do you see that? So we'll draw this line and let's draw it a little bit bigger so that it looks like your groundhog fits. <laughs> so we're going to draw a uh, curved line <laughs> all the way over there. <laughs> I love it. All right. And then if your groundhog isn't touching the, uh, if your groundhog's not touching the ground, you can connect this line right here on both sides. So it touches the ground. Good job. Awesome. Okay, now let's draw the the hole that he's coming out of. And so we're going to draw a little line there that connects to his body and a little line over here that connects to his body. So we're going to come right here and then connect to there. Good. And then the same over here. Connect to there, down to there. Good job. Okay, now let's color in these little pieces on the side and it will look like he's coming out of the ground. Nice job, Austin. Okay, what's he missing? His ears. Yeah, he's missing his ears. So we're going to draw an upside down U right next to his eye. So right here. And then another one on this side. <laughs> Good. And then we can put a little line in the middle of his ears. Good. 
<laughs> okay, now what's he missing? His claws. Yeah, his arms and his hands. So we're going to draw a U on this side. So we can draw it right, right, yeah, right there. Good job. Oh, you drew a circle. That's okay. It's totally okay. <laughs> we're going to draw two lines down at the bottom for his fingers. Yes. Good job. Now we're going to draw a U. You can draw another circle right here. That looks like the other one. <laughs> and then you can draw two lines at the bottom for his fingers. Good. Okay. Let's draw some grass in the background. So we're going to do... We're going to start up here and we're going to do little zigzag like this off to the side. Yep, right there. And a little zigzag up down for grass. Good. And then on the same same thing on this side. Good job. You did it. Okay. Now, on mine, I'm going to draw the shadow and the sun and then on yours, let's draw a cloud. Okay? Yeah. So let's draw, do you remember how to do a little puffy cloud? So we could draw a little popcorn cloud. Good. Keep going. And then come back around up to the top. <laughs> Good job. That looks like an awesome cloud. You could do another one right here. And then I'm going to draw the sun on mine. I'm going to draw a circle. And then I'm going to draw the little rays coming out of the sun. Awesome. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now on mine, I'm going to draw a shadow. And on yours, we're going to leave the shadow off. So I'm going to draw a little shape that looks like a shadow right here. A little sideways U. And I'm pointing it this way because the sun is over here and it's shining down this way. We did it! Did you have fun? Yeah. Give me five. Should we color them? Yeah. All right, let's get our colors. Yeah, so we got our colors picked out. We're going to use pink for his nose, brown for his body, green for the grass, light blue for the sky, and a dark blue for the shadow on mine. And then we're also going to use this gold for the sun. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Okay, let's do it right, right now. There. Austin, we did it! Give me five! Did you have a lot of fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Okay, now which one means that spring's coming early? Mm. Do you remember? Uh, no. Yes! <laughs> if he doesn't see his shadow, that means that spring is going to come early. If he sees his shadow, that means six more weeks of winter. Let's hope for this one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your crown hogs with us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Should we say goodbye to our friends? Yeah. See you later, our friends. Goodbye. Yeah.